Good, um, good afternoon. This is Jennifer White. I'm calling the Groton Board of Education Ad Hoc Field Naming Committee. Um, and it is now 5.32, um, September 9th, 2024. So calling the meeting to order. So, suppose, oh yeah, you can call the next agenda. Okay. Um, the first agenda item is discussion regarding the naming of the large gymnasium at Fitch High School. Um, nominated individual is Michael um, Mike Ellis Sr. Uh, Do I... for, for purposes of discussion, I will move that the large gymnasium at Fitch High School be named in honor of Michael uh, Ellis Sr. Or Mike, if that's the way it comes down. And I... I can second, right? Yeah, I'll, yeah of course. Because there's, I'll second that. So, um, any discussion? Yeah, uh, just to recap, my understanding is that this was discussed. We had four gentlemen with us last time that we met uh, last week, um, and they sang the praises of Mike Ellis. Um, it was he was his name was considered for various portions of the facility, uh, starting with the weight room, but the thought at the time was that maybe the large gymnasium was the more appropriate place uh, to to bear his name. Um, and so we've uh, we sort of kicked it into this meeting to just to be careful that we didn't we weren't uh, introducing any um, any laws. So um, the information that we have is that he's a uh, Perfect candidate. There isn't really an equal uh, for this honor. Um, that's the suggestion that's been made. I have heard of no other suggestions. I have heard from nobody, despite some inquiries that has had anything negative to say about Mr. Ellis. Um, so that naming the gymnasium would be a uh, would be some sort of a uh, a mistake that we'll regret. Um, so I'm I'm in favor of uh, moving his name forward, making the recommendation to the board at large um, to have the the big gym, uh, now referred to as the Ellis Gym or the Mike Ellis Gym, or however they want to, however it wants to be designated. I think I would leave that to the proponents how to honor him best. Um, so, as a discussion item, where we um, just tagging on to what we had talked about last Thursday, I believe, um, I was there like at least three years during the time frame that said individual was the assistant, um, not assistant, um, oh goodness, what's the official title? <laughs> uh, athletic director, it's athletic director. And um, I just remember him like walking around the halls, having a positive attitude, um, you know, um, being the coach at the time that I was there, um, and granted, this was like almost three decades ago, but um, during that brief time frame, never experienced anything um, or heard of anything negative of said individual. Um, one of one of the items to consider, Dean, is um, you know, like um, possibly like. I know the individuals mentioned that he was um, essential or like contributed to the building of that large gym. So um, wasn't sure if we should do like in perpetuity as like other buildings have been named um, or portions of buildings have been named or if we designate like a time spot, that's just something new. Yeah, that's an interesting thought. Uh, I've not heard of this, but of course I'm not, thoroughly familiar with um, the, um, you know, the naming of all other facilities, even in the, in the county, never mind the state. Uh, so I, I don't know whether it's been done before mm -hmm. uh, that someone that, that with, you know, uh, a body has named as uh, named something in honor of somebody for uh, 50 years or 75 years or 99 years or something like that. It's probably been done. Mm -hmm. um, people are kind of creative. Um, I mean, I'm open to the suggestion. I... Yeah, I'm I'm okay with in perpetuity as well, but it was just something that came to mind. I mean, the fact is that a lot of buildings have been named, I think, without a time limitation. I keep going back to Carl Cutler. I don't I think when the building was named, mm -hmm. 
I don't know what people's expectations were that uh, maybe one day when the building had outlived its usefulness, the building would come down and what replaced it would not be called the Carl Cutler XYZ. So, oh, correct. So you know, effectively, you, you know, you can name something in perpetuity, either on per explicitly or implicitly, and you still lose the name. The Empire State Building at some point in its life will come down and whatever replaces it probably will not be called the Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> you hope. I'm, I'm dreaming. I know. You're perverse. Um, strike it's that. One of the nicest things that in Paul this <laughs> Hmm? In a meeting, it's, so sorry. That's quite all right. it's okay. It's okay. It's open to the public. It's public. We, we, it's open we, to the public. Peanut gallery. So, so, uh, um, I apologize for the diversion. Yeah, no. So, 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 so there we are. We've got a, we've got a motion. We've got a second. We've had some discussion. Um, I obviously will make. I, I think we should make the recommendation to the board. Let the board chew it over. Mm -hmm. You know, all nine of us. So um, we'll take a vote. Yeah. Okay. In favor? Aye. Aye. Since there's no one else here, there's no abstentions and there's no, <laughs> and okay. no, no opposition. Two, zero, zero. So, okay. So for the record, it's like Dean mentioned, two, zero, zero. Um, I don't believe we need another meeting. No. But, um, on the agenda, it says identify date of next meeting. Um, I think we can say it's not applicable. Um, the only date that um, we would discuss is the presentation of our recommendation, the ad hoc field committee naming committee's recommendation to the board, which I believe our next meeting is on the 23rd of and September, month, or is it the 29th? Yeah, well, whenever our last regular meeting is of the month. Yes, we will, whatever the last meeting is at the end of September, whether it's Monday the 23rd right. or the 30th, um, we will make sure that this is um, set in the agenda. I will, yeah, that wouldn't be, yeah, that wouldn't be out, a meeting of ours necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it wouldn't be a meeting of ours, period. Mm -hmm. um, I will... Note, I don't know if Jay's contacted you about this. Um, he had a small concern regarding the charge of the ad hoc committee. He was under the impression that the ad hoc committee, our committee, was charged with um, a potential naming at a, at a with a suggestion uh, of the best of the baseball field, and that this naming the large gymnasium or any other portion of the um, of the district schools. Um, was outside the the charge. Um, just for the record, my position would be that that you know if that's technically the case that we were only charged with the one, um, the board can set up another committee could charge us again, uh, or just take up the vote on its own. But it's an internal matter because we have satisfied, as far as I can see, we've satisfied all legal requirements. We've noticed the meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, meetings, plural, and we've discussed, you know, we, we've announced the agenda in time, um, held the meetings in public, um, minutes were taken. Uh, so there's, as far as FOIA is concerned, anything else that applies, we're, you know, we're there. But it is true that we have an internal policy that says in the event somebody suggests naming a portion of the facility, the board will name an ad hoc committee. Um, I don't know that I ever saw the charge. All I ever saw was the agenda. I assumed that what was on the agenda last time was a, was a, a two potential namings. Mm -hmm. Going to get out to today from the fifth, because that agenda referred to the the weight room and this, and we thought the gymnasium was a better candidate for naming. So I think ultimately, if the board the board could ratify this and say, well, okay, well you weren't formally charged, but now that it's brought up, yes, let's consider naming the large gym after Mike Ellis. Mm -hmm. So just. Mountains out of molehills, as far as I'm concerned. But if anybody else has any concerns, including the public, they're welcome to mm -hmm. welcome to bring them forth and, and point out any 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 uh, substantial irregularities. Mm -hmm. I should okay. say substantive irregularities. Thank you. Um, noted. And when we do present, we'll mention that um, either the 23rd or the 30th. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any other 
items related to before I close out the meeting. Nope, and no other items would be allowed. <laughs> That's true. So, um, I'm a weaker. Okay, accepted since there's only two of us. <laughs> Thank you. Um,